everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to easily get sharp cake edges by icing your cake upside down. I'm going to be using creamy American style buttercream and this icing smoother to create the perfect foundation for this cute and simple birthday cake which will be decorated in a later video. If you're new here and want to improve your cake decorating skills, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I upload more inspiring and practical cake decorating videos. So let's get started. First, I place a piece of parchment paper onto my turntable. I'm using a batch of Easy Buttercream to ice this cake. And I show you how to make this icing step by step in this video, linked in the description below. Next, I spread the icing out starting from the center. My cake is six inches in diameter, so I use a six inch cake board to make sure that I've placed enough icing to cover what will become my top. From here, I'll begin to assemble my cake as I would typically assemble it, alternating cake layers with icing. Finally, I spread a small amount of buttercream on my last cake layer before placing my 6 inch diameter cake board on top. Next, I apply buttercream to the sides of my cake. Once the entire cake is iced, I begin the process of smoothing the sides with my plastic icing smoother. Do you notice that this smoother has a nice square corner? This will help to achieve that sharp cake edge. This is the first layer of icing and is also referred to as a crumb coat. I'll place my cake in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes to set before I place my final layer of icing on the sides. Now that my cake is set, I am going to start to place my final layer of icing. At this point, I'm trying to get my sides to be as vertical as possible by eliminating the icing that's angling out at the bottom. Now 
Now my cake goes back into the refrigerator to set for another 20 minutes. The icing is now set and I must remove the excess icing from the cake board before inverting the cake onto a plate. After placing a small amount of buttercream onto my plate, I can carefully invert my cake onto a plate and remove the parchment. Now I'm taking my angled spatula and smoothing the icing on the top. This eliminates most gaps. I'm going to place the cake back into the refrigerator to set the top for another 15 minutes. Next, I use a small piece of parchment paper to smooth the top of the cake even more. Now for some finishing touches. I am adding a reverse shell border around the top edge of my cake. The reverse shell technique is covered in this video. And finally, I add a shell border to the bottom of my cake. The shell border is covered in this video. Both videos are linked in the description below. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please hit the like button and leave a comment or question below. My channel is full of great cake decorating tutorials and advice, so subscribe and turn on notifications to be first to view, like, comment, and share when I upload a new video. As always, thanks for watching.